Well, happy holidays, everyone, and Merry Christmas. Well, normally this time of year, I try to pick up a couple more fish, uh, and I did. I got one more for my main display and one for my lagoon tank. But first, I wanted you to see my tank in the early morning. This is my main display. My uh, Atlantic Blue Tang is out showing off, and what happens in the early morning the sun actually enters into the, the side of my tank um, and creates a little bit of glare on the front glass making it difficult to do the photography but uh, you will see that uh, this Gorgonian is um, the polyps are closed up in the morning many times uh, and uh, is a, have a whole different look then during the day, uh, actually in the next hour or so, it will be full uh, and extended polyps. But uh, right now, it's I, I like it. It's uh, just a different atmosphere in the morning all around. Sun coming in, and um, sometimes the sun actually beams into the side. I don't have that at the moment, but... It's just a completely different feel. The corals look a little different. The tank is just getting up and the Gorgonian is a beautiful purple. And later on as the polyps extend, it'll get into more of a tannish brown color. And we'll take a look at that uh, as we look at our, our tank throughout the day. Uh, but uh, my prize fish right now is the uh, Atlantic Blue Tang. He's uh, changed color and in the early mornings he's actually sometimes can be a yellow uh, but he's gotten to the point now he's almost always blue but you notice he's a very light blue almost like a powder blue well you notice this, he's a, a light sky blue and his tail is a nice yellow to it beautiful fish I love it and then during the day as the day goes on he'll get darker and dar a darker blue um, but still gorgeous beautiful fish looking above we take a glance just so you can see uh, what it looks like looking straight down uh, one of the things I have an open canopy in a sense and I can sneak a peek uh, in between the lights and take a look straight down at my aquarium Yeah, I always enjoy taking a peek down uh, from above and looking at my corals from above and looking at the colors, uh, looking straight down. So I wanted to show you that for a moment. Once again, I kind of uh, I'm, I'm still looking at my Superman monopore doing well, growing. My bubble coral, beautiful. All my corals are just fantastic. And another thing I, I wanted to uh, show off a little bit is my last video I was talking about the loss of a couple fish and some of the things that were going on with the freshwater and the lagoon tank and everything was kind of unsightly even my main display uh, I hadn't cleaned but it just to me everything looks better with the back glass cleaned off I know some of you like to let coralline grow back there if you look at my previous video I had a lot of coralline I prefer it actually all cleaned off um, it just to me has a better look, but you know, that's my uh, That's that's my uh, take on that And looking down here you can see my brittle star hovering on under the rock and Another gorgonian and a whole slew of mushrooms And of course my raw grama I just, uh, Gorgonian is just, to me, just, you see the flow, um, but it's a different look. My tang is gorgeous. I love how the Atlantic Blue Tang, it, to me, is a very, is, is a very pretty fish. And the Atlantic Blue Tang has a gorgeous electric blue edge to his fins. And um, I love the way that just brilliantly stands out so here we have our falcon hawkfish coming out and 
taking a look at us and and my new inhabitant. In fact, I've had them for oh, I think uh, about a month now or more. Doing very well. I actually recorded this video a few weeks ago and just now getting it posted. But the hawkfish, uh, like most of the hawks or have a lot of personality it's almost like a pet dog uh, they they're intelligent they react to um, their owners they, they know me and and uh, he's getting used to the different areas and niches and crevices and rocks and the other inhabitants and just en enjoying the enjoying himself and uh, gonna be a lot of personality in the tank with him and add a little bit more a little splash of red into the tank looking down from the one uh, side view you get a, a more of a deep sea type of look to it I kind of like looking down the side of my tank I like most of us do see the hawkfish coming out swinging around to the front we have now entered into a later time in the day when the Gorgonian is just flowing around, uh, fully extended polyps, different color to it. Not the brilliant purple that we had in the morning, but another type of beauty to it uh, that I enjoy. And our hawkfish is just uh, very playful and nice thing. In fact, uh, the, between the hawk and the tang, they had stirred up the sand the bottom a little bit and got everything um, flowing around in the water. The uh, frog spawn still looking beautiful. Love that. The uh, soft corals always have. And the hawkfish exploring every nook and cranny that he can find look for his means of escape and he likes this little spot out front right underneath the my other Gorgonian and kind of perches himself there and takes a look and waits to be fed so he's going to be a lot of pleasure. I'm very happy with this purchase, and um, I'm always looking for it. not oh, not just to get show fish, but to get personality, get other fish in the tank that are are good to stand off. Now we move on to the uh, lagoon tank, and um, the lagoon tank now has a new uh, inhabitant. We have another Blenny, and. This is a particularly beautiful blenny I picked up uh, at the same time I got the hawkfish. Uh, and also a lot of personality. But he, he uh, he's pretty quiet. He kind of perches on that rock and, and stays there. And I've had him for, of course, the same time over a month or so. And uh, him and the butterfly fish are getting along just fine. And so it was about time I got... Uh, a companion for the butterfly fish and already I've seen a kind of a change in the dynamics and the butterflies even settled down because they spend a lot of time roaming and looking and uh, he's a little bit more comfortable now that it's another fish in the tank so I'm very pleased with that but I gotta tell you these Klein butterflies are, are excellent fish for those who haven't had a butterfly and would like to try one and then and they uh, don't have corals because they do pick on corals but they're very hardy fish and um, if you've had difficulty with butterfly fish because butterfly fish are, are at the extreme of uh, difficulty to keep but not the clines the clines are uh, a good hardy fish and, and in my experience easy to keep and I've had him for quite some time now I have a little bit of uh, slime allergy and some little bit of here in this tank so still work to be done uh, but I don't focus so much on this one I just enjoy it let it go and and uh, you know and give it a it's, it's, it's small enough being 20 gallons that 
I can uh, once in a while I can I can clean it up with the uh, with not much time invested but I don't really spend too much time on it as I should but I just want to enjoy it and one of the things I always said about having more than one tank is it's very taxing because uh, you know you have to maintain one tank is hard enough but when you add more tanks on it you, know, you get uh, you get very lazy about some of them but I, I never intended this to be a, 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 a tank that I wanted to spend a, you know high maintenance on I wanted to always wanted to be low maintenance and not be too tight about worrying you know how good it looks or anything like that so anyway that was just a quick uh, update to let everybody know I got a couple new fish and main tank is looking beautiful and happy holidays everyone we'll see you next time